So in 2018, an Australian scientific website stated that traffic noise was second among environmental threats to public health. Oh, the first being air pollution. The noise is getting louder here in Jamaica. So we invited audiologist Dr. Georgia Beavers to show, to ask, is noise dangerous to our health? Morning, Dr. Beavers. Welcome once again to Smile Jamaica. Morning, Doc. Good morning. Um, Thanks for inviting me. It is our pleasure. I hope all is well with you. Um, I, I can understand that if it's so loud for the ear, it might damage the ear. But when you say it's, it could damage your health, what are we talking about exactly? Well, it can cause ulcers in the stomach. It can cause dementia. It can cause hearing loss. It can cause cardiovascular disorder. It's heart disease. Um, it affects the psychosocial um, um, person. If somebody has problems, um, it can cause psychological problems. Memory, ability to attend to, um, attend to things to be able to concentrate. So noise is very, uh, loud noises are very dangerous to the human being. So you're suggesting that if, I, if it's too loud constantly, well, maybe not constantly, but a lot, I could have a heart problem? Yes, okay. Um, what happens, you see, the, the lo when, when, when the loud sound comes and if you jump um, because you heard it suddenly, then you can raise your, heart, your blood pressure and cause a change in the cardiovascular response. So it can give you a heart attack. That's one thing. Um, also, um, it can affect the, um, your memory because it affects the, the inner hair cells, the, your cochlea is your sense organ of hearing, and it is fluid filled with hair cells. And those hair cells have to connect to the brain. And there's something called glutamate that helps to transmit the, um, the, 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 the synaptic connection between the hair cells and the brain for the brain to be able to process and get hearing and also for memory. But when the loud noise comes, whether it is constant or um, sudden, it disperses the, um, the glutamate and it goes in the wrong direction. So when the synaptic junction of the inner hair cells goes to the, to the brain, it doesn't have all that um, excess um, glutamate that it needs because some of it has been wasted going in the wrong direction. So over time, sometimes it's an instant um, um, prob um, effect. Sometimes it takes time, like even two, three, four years as you're down the road, somebody will come in and say that they're not hearing properly, they're not understanding speech, and when we test them, the hearing is normal. We call this a hidden hearing loss, and then when we ask, have they had any exposure to loud noises, et cetera, we realize what, what has really happened to that person. Wow. And there's no recovery from that. Wow. So, and, and this is because the body is constantly reacting to sounds overall. As a matter of fact, yes. it says it may be the sounds that we aren't even aware we're hearing that are affecting us the most, in particular, those we hear when we're asleep. Yes, because what happens, you know, your hearing is your primary danger signal for the, for the body. So when you are sleeping, your brain is still active, um, checking out what the noises that are going around to see if it's something that's, de that's there's danger. Wow. So all the time, even when you are awake, um, the first, when, there's a, when you hear a sound, you may jump because you don't know if something is behind you or if you have danger coming, right? Yeah. 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 What is tinnitus or tinnitus? Okay. Tinnitus is a, a noise that you hear in your ear that is not, on, is not external. So the, um, the loud sounds can cause tinnitus. Uh, sometimes the tinnitus is very loud, sometimes it is soft, but it, is very, it can cause um, emotional and psychological problems because throughout the entire day you're hearing this, ee, this ringing inside your ear and it's not going to go away and it can't go away. There's no cure for tinnitus. Yeah. We can only try to teach you how to manage it. Yeah. Archie and I, we were speaking um, during the break and we were suggesting that sometimes you don't realize things are so loud until yes. you turn it off. But That's correct. How loud is... It's too, it's loud. too loud. How, how do we okay, know? well, it depends now. So you have different kinds of noise, like a report from a gun. When you shoot a gun, that is very loud. That can cause permanent damage right there and then. You can lose some hearing and it can cause you to get tinnitus. So even for, you know, I have to say this, even though this is not a part of it, but I've been trying to get the police force um, way back then to recognize that the police should be wearing noise protection modes. They're saying, okay, but if we do, how are we going to hear the, the, um, the, 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 the directions? But the noise protection modes have filters in there. And so it allows them to hear at normal hearing levels. But when a sound comes as too loud, it filters it down. Okay. So 
And then you have industrial noise. There's people working in factories, people from construction, um, cars and trucks that go by. Those are things that, um, so I can give an example, like a motorcycle. Um, it puts out about 80 to 85 dB of, um, of noise. Um, anything over 85 dB, 85 dB is going to be considered um, dangerous wow. or noise for, for exposure to damage to the body. No, you spoke, um, you spoke a little earlier, Doc, about um, one type of um, hearing loss. Um, yes. If I'm an individual, how can I tell? What should I be listening out for? What, well, not listening out for, what should I be noticing? Okay, so you may notice that you're in a room probably with people talking and you hear them talking, but you're not really understanding too much what they're saying or you have to be focusing very hard or you may ask somebody to, be, to repeat what they're saying. Or repeat so, what they're, repeat what yeah, they're saying repeat very what often. They're saying, like, yeah, you may say to them, um, what did you say again? And yet you know that you can hear sounds, but yet you're not understanding um, the words clearly because it's, they're, not, they're distorted, you know? It's also possible, question, it's also possible that you can have a problem in just one ear, right? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, wow. Whew. What happens, you see, the way how the hair cells are structured, how the hair is structured in the body, there is a, what we call the cochlea, which is like a, a, a shell, and on the outer part of the shell is where the high frequency sounds are, and that's where you get your ability to, clar to hear clearly. In the low pitches, which is like bass sounds, it's in the inner part of the cochlea, so it is more protected, but that's where you get the power to hear. So you may notice sometimes that you are hearing, but you're not hearing clearly. Whoa. Uh, and you said some of these um, conditions can't be cured. Exactly, exactly. So you... The only thing we can try to do is fit with hearing aids, um, try to see if we can teach some kind of auditory training where we have a person um, listen to, go into a quiet room, um, produce some noise and try to listen and hear somebody speaking while the noise is on and try to, you're trying to retrain the brain to listen to the noise. Okay. But um, it's not, um, you're not gonna cure it, it's not as effective, it may just give you some um, help. All right. So this is something you should be checking up on ever so often? Yes, yes, especially if you're working in the industry of um, where you fire guns, where you have noises coming from instruments like in a factory, um, that kind of thing. And if you get a head injury, um, it does the same kind of thing, you know, because it's fluid. Remember, the inner ear is fluid filled and these hair cells float about in that fluid. Yeah. See? Thanks. So any blow or trauma to the head can cause you to have tinnitus, hearing loss, and the, um, dementia and these kinds of stuff. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Beavers. Uh, always great to have you with us and stay safe, please. Take care. You're welcome. So is that Dr. Georgia Beavers? She is an audiologist. Now still ahead, the mother of us all. It's a history of Queen Nanny. But first, the second edition of News in 5 is after the break. <laughs>